Welcome to the session on how to create a new posting period in SAP Business One. Your company must create new posting periods at the start of each fiscal year. The posting periods need to be defined within SAP so that transactions can be attributed to each fiscal period. A fiscal year can line up with the calendar year or it can be offset based on your company needs. A few key points to consider. The start of fiscal period can only be on the first of the month. Create the oldest posting periods first to ensure no gaps or overlap in periods. Posting periods cannot overlap with one another. Each transaction in SAP has a posting date that determines which corresponding period it is recorded to. Once posting periods are created they can be modified but not removed. If there are no fiscal periods set up for the current period, the users will get an error message stating that the system date deviates from all companies' fiscal years. It is important to create the periods ahead of time to avoid confusion. To create a new posting period, the financial administrator must go to the administration module, system initialization, and posting periods. Here you will see all the posting periods that already exist. Before we create a new period, there are two options to consider. 1. Create new periods with due date into the next financial year. This automatically sets the due date of the new posting period from the last day of the selected month to end of the next fiscal year. This is very helpful for documents that are due in future periods. For example, an AR invoice that is created on December 20th but only due on January 20th in the next fiscal year. We are going to select Yes and choose December. 2. Automatically update period status to closing period for existing periods X number of days after the new period starts. This automatically assigns the status closing period to periods that have already ended after a certain number of days. We are going to set this to yes and the number of days to 14 days. To create the new posting period click new period button. Enter the period code and period name. These are often the same and usually the fiscal year. Subperiods are created automatically by SAP in the fiscal year based on your selected type of subperiod. The four available subperiods are year, quarter, month, and day. You define the subperiods based on the company business need. A year has one subperiod. Quarters have four subperiods. Months contain 12 subperiods. And days can have any number of subperiods. Using your selection, the system automatically creates the corresponding number of posting periods. A reason for defining subperiods will be the ability to lock a past period so that no additional postings can be made by any user. The posting date, due date, and document date range is automatically determined by the start of the fiscal year date. Since we selected, create new periods with due date in the next financial year, SAP is going to set the fiscal year's due date to the end of the next fiscal year. Once we click Add, SAP will create each subperiod based on our selection criteria. Here we can see all the posting periods we just created. Let's look at a single posting period. If we were to post a transaction to January 15, 2022, it will fall into 2022 01 period because the posting date range is January 1st to January 31st, 2022. Any transaction posted to this period can have a due date up to December 31st, 2023. This can be modified if required. Any transaction posted to this period can have a document date, also known as tax date, up to December 31st, 2022. The default status for the newly created posting period is unlocked. This can be changed manually to any of the following. Unlocked, this is the default status for new period creation. This status allows all users to post any type of transaction. Unlocked except sales, this status allows authorized users to post all types of transactions except for sales documents. This period status is often used at month end time. Closing period, this status allows authorized users to post all types of transactions. Users that are not authorized for this period status cannot post any activity to this period status. In the posting period setup screen, you can determine the number of days after the period has expired to automatically change the period status. This is commonly used at month end or year end time. Locked, this status prevents all users from posting any activity to this period status. 
The status archived is set automatically and cannot be manually set. It is set by the data archive wizard and no transactions or documents can be posted. This concludes the session on creating a new posting period in SAP Business One. Thank you for your time.